Hello and welcome. This video is all about the wardrobe. This is a special video. It was a request from a good friend. And uh, without uh, further ado, let's go ahead and dive right into it. So you tap on the top right corner and in the middle is wardrobe. So we'll go ahead and select that. So I want to explain what you're looking at on this screen. On the right side of the screen, you'll see it says Pearl Inventory. And then below that, it's like outfit and a drop box, and there's a section there. These two sections are completely different. The pearl inventory is literally the two objects that are in your pearl inventory, the uh, armor and the weapon. What's below has been removed from all inventory and sits on this interface for you to decide whatever you want to do with. On the left side of the screen, it's encouraging you to fuse outfits uh, and blend everything. It shows your stats that are in effect and the uh, even the applied effect. This might get a little confusing, but I will explain. And this is going to be a quick video because uh, I can't show you how to fuse things. I need to go craft some outfits. So first things first. We're going to look at the bottom where it shows outfit and then all. You can select just the weapons, you could select just the armor, but for this purpose we're just going to leave it as all. Now how do I have plus 34 attack and defense? I'm using the stats that are colored with the blue E, the letter E with the blue highlight around it. So those two mean you're using the stats for those items. The gold E is the appearance. I'm using the appearance of the angel outfit and the staff with the little ball sphere. The green E is the applied effect. I purchased a uh, outfit in the pearl shop that allows me to forge uh, a lot faster and a lot cheaper. That's the applied effect that you see. It's because I have equipped that outfit as well. You don't see it because the outfit I want to see is with the gold letter E. So how do I change that? What if I want to look like the uh, forging outfit? I tap on it and on the left side of it it just shows you what the appearance is that you have, the stats that you're using, and the effect that you're using. This is the only outfit that I'm aware of right now that has an effect. And it's a pretty good one if you ask me if you do a lot of forging. So if you tap on the button apply, what you're looking at is for this outfit, do you want it to replace and show as the appearance? Do you want it to replace and be used for stats? Or do you want it just for the effect? I have it just for the effect, but if we want to play around, I can tap on a, the off the word off here for appearance and tap on it and now it's on and when you tap anywhere outside of this window now you can see I look like a tree so that is how that works and now look at the uh, tree outfit has a gold E and a green E which is showing its half visual half applied effect I am curious. Let's try all three and see what it looks like. Oops. Yeah. Well, now that's interesting. I haven't really paid attention to that. It is all three colors that is represented. And as you can see, my stats went down because this object is not good for stats, but the applied effect it is the best. So we'll go ahead and tap on this again tap on apply and remove its appearance remove its stats and leave the effect and tap outside of the window and now I need to redo the stuff that I did the stats that I like are with this gold outfit the witch tritch uh, plus 18 it's pretty good so we're gonna tap on apply and tap on stats so now it goes from off to on and then tap outside and you'll see that the stats are back to normal 
And last but not least, this is not the outfit I want her to stay with. So we'll tap on the angel costume in the first box. Tap on apply. And tap on appearance. The stats are just below the one that we just did below, uh, before, excuse me. So we just want this for appearance. So tap outside of this window. And there it is. It's back all the way back to the way I had it. It is back to the way I had it. And that is how you uh, equip and use things for stats and applied effect and appearance. Now, what if you wanted to take something like, uh, mm, how about the witch trich? Say you want to take it and move it back into your pearl inventory. So we'll, we have to unselect it first. So you have to turn the stats off and then tap outside and you see there's no E applied to it. Then below where it says select mode, you tap on that. You then tap on the armor. It has a checkbox there and you tap on the withdraw button. But this is a hefty price. This is why I wanted to show you three million to move it back into your pearl inventory. You really must consider what you're gonna put down in this interface to use for stats, appearance, or applied effect. It has to be the result of a really good something. It's like, I really like this appearance or I really like these stats, let's move it down because if I if I need to move it back, it's gonna cost a lot. And to higher level players, this is nothing. But to people who are still trying to save up into the millions, this is a lot to ask. So I'm going to cancel and not move it up. So we'll cancel the uh, hit tap on cancel and then tap on it. Go back to apply and we use in it for stats. So tap on the off so it's on, it is represented and everything is back the way it is. And that's how this works. Um, I will make another video later on showing you how to uh, fuse outfits and what is entailed with that interface. But for now, I wanted to show you these basics. And as always, thank you very much. You have yourself a great day. Bye now.